out of this experience what i have in the automotive industry i always see or i've seen that people from this production background say for example quality or manufacturing background are always treated as an additional asset to the r&d team these people also know the production process of a particular component and the functionality of the component a fresh person or a person without this production background or a functionality knowledge background would be difficult for them to know the engineering background so we have a career related question today okay let's say someone has a production background okay is it necessary for them to shift to an r&d job role in the future hmm. if yes what should they do what should they learn nice it's an excellent question uh to start with necessity depends upon every individual so i'm not going to answer about the necessity area but what i'm going to tell you is out of this experience what i have in the automotive industry i always see or i've seen that people from this production background say for example quality or manufacturing background are always treated as an additional asset to the r&d team reason is these are the first set of people who will understand what problem does a part have because they have seen a lot of rejections of components whenever there is a rejection these are the first set of team who will be working on the rca of it root cause analysis of it once you do this root cause analysis you will understand at least what the problem is the counter measure may be a production person might not be able to give a counter measure but most importantly understanding the problem is very very important together these people also know the production process of a particular component and the functionality of the component knowing these two things will enable you to learn or know the engineering behind the component on a very easier way or on a quicker way right but a fresh person or a person without this production background or a functionality knowledge background would be difficult for them to know the engineering background since you know these two things already it is going to be easy for a person from a production background to capture or to take the engineering knowledge very quickly compared to other people but is it easy for us to directly go from production background to uh, the r&d background it is not very easy but it is still possible you will have to acquire certain set of skill sets to reach there what could be that the missing area the missing area is the engineering knowledge the engineering knowledge about particular component say for example i am a quality person who had worked on stamping components so what could be easy for me to adopt is to know about baw of an automotive plant or any steel production area steel r and d related activity would be directly relatable for me since i had worked in stamping say for example if i am a person who had worked on injection molding uh, pro- production process what would be easy for me to design a plastic component what could be easily adaptable for me is to design a plastic component so this is what you will have to first analyze and the target only this engineering knowledge alone might not be helpful together if you also have this tool knowledge like cat ir and nx or if you learn this engineering via these tools like cat ir and nx as all it works you are definitely going to be treated as a biggest asset in the r&d industry and the shift from the production industry to the r&d industry is going to be really easy for you so necessity depends upon an individual but if it is possible or not it is definitely possible by acquiring a little amount of extra skill sets you will definitely reach to the r&d area hope i have answered your question see you on the next video